How do you feel about winning Best Connection? I feel pretty excited about it. I didn't realize that I had won this uh, until about two minutes ago, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty juiced about it. How, how important is it to you to connect with your students? Um, I think it's important to connect with students. Uh, I, I think building relationships with students uh, is really important for the classroom, uh, just to get the most out of them. Um, and just, you know, I think it's important for, for them to know that, that I care about them um, and that I want them to do their best. What's your favorite subject to teach? I like teaching anatomy and physiology. That's probably my favorite. And why do you think students like you? I didn't know students liked me until um, about three minutes ago when you, when you told me this that I was getting this award. So, um, yeah, it's okay. All right, thank you. <laughs> Have you always been known as a charismatic person? Um, you know, actually, most people would consider me shy. Um, I'm usually pretty quiet when people first get to know me, but um, as soon as I uh, get comfortable and relax, I definitely open up more. Are you better at giving advice or getting advice? Um, it depends what it's about. I like, I like talking, so I can give advice. I like to get advice too, especially if I'm going through something, I'll always go you know, to my friends or my family. And I definitely like getting other people's opinions. Do you think it is important to connect with students while in the classroom? Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, definitely connect with students, ask them how they're doing, what they're into. Um, it just makes um, more more engagement in the classroom and um, more invested if you know they know the teacher cares. Do you think math is a subject that requires more one-on-one -on -one with students compared to other subjects? Um, yeah, math is a subject that a lot of people struggle with, so one-on-one <laughs> -on -one help is always helpful. Um, just like. I think one-on-one -on -one help is helpful for any subject, really, though. Okay, and the last question is a bonus question. We were wondering, what is your favorite type of shoe? Oh, do you really have to ask? Toe shoes! Toe shoes! Definitely all the time. I want to get another pair. This will be pair five. Keep me, keep, let me know, though, if you find a cute pair, because I'm looking for just straight black pair. Okay, not the summer sandal edition. I want a straight black pair. Congratulations on winning most hilarious, Mr. Hammer. What is your best joke? What an honor. Most hilarious. My best, I don't tell jokes. What do you mean what's my best joke? I don't tell jokes. I am not funny. You guys are funny. The students are funny. I have students that wear pants with holes in them. They spend big money for pants with holes. I've got rags that I could give you and you can, uh, I don't know, maybe purchase those. I can make some money and you can use those for your pants. So no, I'm not funny. I got students that think they're Gandhi. I've got students that think we bowling is just like regular bowling. I got students that, I don't know, they think they're gangsters. It's not me, it's them. All I do is observe these people that come into my class. That's it. No jokes. All right. Do you know anyone? That's it? <laughs> do you know anyone that's funnier than you? <laughs> Yeah, all of them. They're all funnier than me. I have, I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing. If you want funny, go talk to Mr. Keaton for a while. That'll give you funny. Everything in life relates to the Steelers. Everything. Everything? Everything, according to Keaton. All right. So go to Keaton if you want funny. All right, what is the funniest thing that you've ever done? I've ever done? Yes. Funny. I was sitting, this is about two or three years ago, we're sitting in the lunch table. The guys all sit at one table and the ladies all sit at the other table. It's kind of like you guys in a eighth grade dance, you know, everyone's separate. So I'm there talking with the guys, and all of a sudden I'm listening to Mrs. Hammer, you know, because she works here, and she's telling the story to, you know, her people over there, and all of a sudden I'm listening. And so here's kind of how it went, and this is how I got the information. I didn't know anything about this until this story. I guess a couple of years before that, our dog, she was a puppy at the time, and she likes to eat things. Well, I guess she ate my sock. So she ate my sock, and I guess Nancy was following the dog around for a day or so, waiting for the dog to, you know, pass the sock. So I guess finally did. So Nancy grabs the sock, and I'm just listening to this. She washes it, dries it, you know, in the dryer or whatever, and just folds it up and puts it in my drawer. So I never know when I'm wearing a sock that the dog has passed. It could be this sock right here. I do not know. 
And I didn't know anything about this until she's telling her people. And anyone always says, poor Nancy, because, you know, of me. They always go, poor her. But actually, who's the one that's having to wear, you know, poopy socks? I think it's poor Mike. So I'm having Amber. to wear poopy socks. Cameron, that is a classic story. Thank That's you. Okay. Alright, what is the best nickname you've ever come up with to give it to a student? The best nickname mm -hmm. for a student? Because you know you have the big list in the back of your I don't know. There's a lot of good ones. Road Rage is a good one. Because uh, I'm afraid of her driving, you know? So that's a good one. I have the bailiff because her first name's Courtney and Court is short for that. And who's in a court but a bailiff? So you get bailiff. Some people I can't pronounce their name, so they call me, they have me call them Joey. Because I can't pronounce their name. So I think that's probably an issue. So. What else? What else you want to What about you, Haley Cruz? Um, what about me? Well, well, didn't you have a nickname? Yes, 8%. 8%. And why were you 8%? Because I was such a hassle that the teacher got paid. I got 8% more for my salary because you were in my class. That's right. That was probably one of the best ones. 8%. There you go. That was serious stuff. Serious. Mm -hmm. Where does the term stay frosty originate from? Stay frosty? Mm -hmm. Is this something people need to know? Yeah. They do? Yeah. So what does that mean? It means you got to be focused. You got to stay on task at hand. You have to be ready. You have to be calm. Stay frosty. You have to stay frosty to succeed. That's the whole meaning of life. Stay frosty.